Hi, in, the, in this video I will talk about the initiation, initiator surah and the verse 12. It was mentioned in many uh, articles. The two, two seas are not the same. One is fresh and delicious while the other is salty and dr undrinkable. From each of them you eat tender meat and extract jewelry to wear. And you see the ship sailing through them, seeking his provisions that you may be appreciative so here uh, here we see that it is interesting that uh, after referring to two seas the two seas are not the same one is fresh and delicious while other seas salty and undrinkable from each of them so it actually says that each of the seas have produced can tender meat and extract jewelry to wear and you see the ship sailing through them and seeking his provisions that you may be appreciative. So here it is interesting that uh, the the sea and the sea water quality actually affects the tender meat. Um, much depends on whether a fish lives in fresh water or salt water. Saltwater fish counterbalance the salinity of their environments by producing flavor giving amino acids, including sweet testing glycine and savory glutamate, that milder testing freshwater fish lack. Uh, most saltwater fish constantly lose water through their gills and skin. Because the fish is losing water, it must drink a lot to stay hydrated, but salty seawater is the only water around. To get rid of excess salt, the fish kidney pumps a loss of salt into its urine. The salt lowers the water activity inside the muscle, making the remaining water less accessible for microorganisms, which inactivates or inhibits microbial growth. In addition, the salt helps enhance the structure of proteins and deactivates certain enzymes. So the, the verse doesn't directly say that it is related to the tender meat, but it's interesting that they were mentioned together so it doesn't have to be like uh, related and so that's inter interesting to see that uh, the the sea and their uh, saltiness uh, is important and maybe it affects the meat taste